everybody, Excalibur here, and I've got another unboxing. Um, I got this lovely ship naked box uh, right before the holidays, and I'm going to open it up now because it is one of my Kickstarter rewards. It's taken a while to get to us, so that's. Um, I had some issues with this Kickstarter, uh, and the guys that were running it were really, really, really awesome. So, we have, let me see here, what is this? Yeah, okay. This is definitely the Daily Magic Games um, stuff. So let's go ahead and pull that out and get these out. We're gonna put this empty box over here. It could be used to, to hold stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, -ho! Villages of Valeria, the deluxe edition. It should be anyway. And that's what I I pledged for. And another disclaimer: I pledged for this with my own money. I did not pled um, receive this as a, a review copy. And um, I wasn't supposed to get any of the Valeria Card Kingdoms promos uh, because they were add-ons. But, there we go. We've got Valeria Card Kingdom's uh, Expansion Packs 1 and 2. And let's go ahead and get the cellophane off of this beast of a box. And let's get it open. So, if I'm correct, this is a slip case. And then here's the box itself. Villages of Valeria. Let me get that centered. There we go, screenshot. Um, this is, of course, by uh, Daily Magic Games. Um, <clears throat> and it's, let me see here, designed by Rick Holzgraf and Isaias Vallejo. Vallejo. And it's uh, Mihailo Dmitrievsky. I can't pronounce that. So um, there you go. I will show it to you up close my camera doesn't like to there we go there's the illustrations and there's who it's by I really cannot um read this stuff so this is a, a card game of course it is uh, for one to five players 14 and older and takes about 45 minutes uh, this is going to be hitting my uh, my game table soon so let me go ahead and open up the main box, empty, normal box, and we will go ahead and pull out, here is the rule book, it's nice, it's got some nice thick paper, and of course it goes through the story, components, concepts, um, what all the iconography and everything means, how to play, special powers. Um, it's really a plain instruction book. It reminds me a lot of um, an old Dungeons and Dragons book with just some colored pictures thrown in. But overall, um, it should get the information across. I'll have to read it. And on the back is a quick reference guide for how to play the game. Let's put that in the lid there. Inside we have a wonderful um, insert. It's got sponge to help keep things in. And uh, we have our tokens right here. There we go, we've got a nice wooden castle and a bunch of, it looks like gold or, I'm gonna call them cakes. But the castle looks pretty nice, it's double-sided. And then uh, the little, I'm going to call, they're probably gold or something, but hold them up. They're circles with little dots around them. We'll see what they are. And then we have, looks like little strongholds for each of five different colors. We've got yellow, white, purple, red, and black. Now, it's awesome, and I, I don't know, I think somebody who's colorblind is going to have issues with these two colors here, and maybe these two colors here. It would have been nice if they were different shapes for the different kingdoms. 
but that's what it is. And then there was a sponge in there. So let's see here. We've got some tabs, which um, they're okay. They're cardboard. Uh, you can tell they've definitely been punched out because they've got the little sprue things here. Uh, a bunch of different colors, and I believe each color is going to represent the type of card it does. So we've got buildings, adventures, monuments, events, and support cards. This is awesome. I wish they had been offset so that you can see them better, but the number of cards in the game are going to have it so that they're apart enough that you'll be able to um, pull them apart. Let's see here, what do we have here? Alright, we've got some player boards it looks like. Harvest, develop, build, recruit, tax, and then here is a scorecard. Let's put those in there. We have um, a loose card, Villages of uh, Valeria, Bard, and I'm not sure what all the iconography means, but it's a very, very pretty card. Let's put this over the side. And then we have some green cards, and I do not see any cellophane wrap. Let me let me get the sorry about the let me get the knife of face maiming and see if I can't get this undone. There we go. Um, yeah, I've got my calipers right there. We're going to measure the cards and see what size sleeves they take. They feel feel like they're, they're standard, so any Magic the Gathering size sleeves should work fine. That's my guess. So let's go ahead and just take the deck, grab the digital calipers, get the dust off of them, and here we go. Um... Whoa, yeah, that's a little bit too tight. There we go. They are running about 63. So 62.83. So here we go. Uh, there we go. 62.83. And my guesses are going to be about 88. Yeah, they are running if I can keep them straight. <laughs> they're running 88 and a half almost. So they're a little bit different from your standard but 63.5 by 88 um, size sleeves should fit. I don't have any sleeves sitting right around me. I work for a game company. You'd think I'd have them right here. So let's just go through the cards really quick. I don't know exactly what they are. The back of these are green and they have different things. So we've got wizard towers and how much it costs to build them and taxes and everything. So I am unsure exactly how the game is played. And here we go. There's a lot of cards in here. I saw it. I fell in love with the artwork and the idea sounded cool. And I have since forgotten all about what that idea is. So these are different color cards on the front, but the backs are still all green. These are all green cards. And I'm sure with the iconography, we'll be able to figure out what they are. This looks like it might be a pretty fun game to play in a group. The cards are all pretty good quality. They are linen finished. At least I feel linen finished. Yeah, they are. I can see the, the dimples in there. So there's a bunch of cards there. And let me just get them in here. There we go. And we'll get these over here. Now we have uh, a whole nother set here. It looks like it's characters rather than uh, buildings and places. The knife of face maiming worked on some Lego base plates today. 
I'm putting together a, a Lego table for my son and gluing down some base plates so he has a stable surface to build on that won't slide all over the place. Alright, so here's the back of these and uh, just like the bard. So I believe these are all characters. And here we go, we've got like the cleric, knight, mercenary, merchant, monk, necromancer, paladin. We didn't see a paladin, did we? No. And a rogue, a warlord, a thief, a summoner, a wizard. And then we got some more green cards. So let's set these here. Uh, archery ranges, three of them, three armories, three barracks, three fortress dens, so these are more of the green cards, greenback cards, which are seem to be places or buildings that you can build. Barracks, and then we've got um, fortress den, seem to be three of them, mine, 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 tavern. Thieves Den, Market, Inn, Guard Tower, and then blank ones. Let me put these guys over here. So, or I don't think they're blank ones, but these are a different thing, it looks like. One in yellow, blue, red, purple, and white, which I think these are probably player sheets. They have a completely different back. And let me just double check. Those are all green. Yep, those are all green. These have a completely different back. They've got a dragon on the back. So I think these are player-related cards. We'll set that like that. And then we've got Harvest, Develop, Build, Recruit, and Tax with a completely different back. Um, we have action cards. These are all the same thing. And uh, there's two different, so there's uh, all the actions you can take. There we go. And this is the iconography in the game on the back side of the action card. So those are definitely player aids. And then here's a solo reference reference play, so solo rules. We've got actions and the rules. And then we have some more characters. We have the alchemist, archer. Ah, let me just put them in order. There we go. We have the blacksmith and the butcher. And of course, we have the bard. Right there. Those are all characters. I've got some more in here, but these are different. These look like event cards. I'm not going to open these. I'm going to let them be a surprise. But the front card is a baker, and then there's some information on the back about game rules. I'm going to leave those in their cellophane until I get to them. So there's a minor the cellophane and then well not the cellophane the rules on the back the baron and then rules on the back so that is everything in the box let me go ahead and get these all back in here i need to get these sleeved up the boxes were made to be to uh, handle sleeving and ensure that uh all your cards could fit in there without um getting damaged, being damaged or anything like that. That is everything except for the rule book. And it was a Kickstarter exclusive for this to be upside down. Yeah, I put it on the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> so there we go. There's the Villages of Valeria by Rick Holzgraf and Isaias Vallejo. Um, published by Daily Magic Games.